Hey guys, welcome back to Maya's Bug. Uh, on the last episode, we got the main structure of the roll cage all completed. Um, there's still a lot of support structure that we have to add in. Um, but for this week, we are going to uh, tie this front section that's already been done and the main cage. We're gonna tie these two together. So we've got about nine tubes we're gonna put through here. And I'll just bring the camera around and kind of show the different tubes that I'll be installing through here and kind of the idea behind why they're gonna be there. So uh, I'm gonna put some music on. We're just gonna rock out and just bang through these. All right, so the first tubes we're gonna be installing are gonna be these top corners. So obviously we gotta tie this one into the main cage. In here, we need to have some amount of triangulation. Uh, this tube here that runs down into the front, in between the lower A-arm, that tube is actually gonna take quite a bit of load whenever we're, we're hitting stuff in the front, big hard hits. That load's gonna drive up through here into this tube, this vertical tube. That needs to drive out somewhere. We wanna drive it into the rest of our chassis, so um, I will be driving that one straight up, bam, right into our uh, A-pillar. Um, and then I will be adding one more down here, a uh, smaller diameter tube, possibly, and uh, that'll just help triangulate this whole section. So we'll have one, two, three. Up top here, uh, this is our shock tower. Uh, you can see here that we are leveled. Um, our shock tower uh, is gonna be taking quite a bit of load in all directions, mostly uh, this direction and this direction, but it is also taking a lot of front end support here. So uh, I'm gonna have one straight tube running straight through and that'll tie in straight in here. I will have to notch out a little bit more steel here to be able to allow this tube to come and tie in. Um, and then I'll triangulate this top section with a tube here. So I'll have one here, one straight up the center line, and then one out to that corner. So I'll copy the other side that'll be exactly like this side. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And one more thing I wanted to mention was uh, leveling. So whenever you're leveling your chassis, you want to pick two datums or three datums. Those are the points you use over and over and over whenever you're le leveling this thing. You don't want to come over here and one time you're going to level off your shock tower and then the next time you're going to level off this tube and then the next time you're going to level off these. You want to always use the same thing over and over so that way it's repeatable. Because uh, otherwise you'll have tolerant stack ups throughout your whole build. I like to keep the bubble level on here all the time. Um, I do level this with a digital level whenever I first start, but then I just leave the bubble level on here. So every time I'm about to do something and I'm installing a tube, I just real quick glance over at that and yep, bubble's still in the middle, I'm good to go. All right, let's do it.
All right, guys. Well, we got seven of the nine tubes installed. Uh, I had to stop because uh, I ran out of one-inch tubing. So um, I also ran out of welding, shielding gas. So uh, I think you guys got the gist of it. I'll probably install these last two tubes up here um, in the next video just real quick. Or uh, I'll just do it off, off camera. But uh, I like the way it came out. Um, we finally got the front end tied into the main cage. So uh, thanks for hanging in till the end. And uh, you guys should check out buysbugstore.com. And remember to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.